would have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb, I can't feel anymore Praying you just walk back through that door And tell me that I was only dreaming you're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me and I will hold on tight It's not the place to question, only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight You always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I hold you as close as I can But until then,
she she stopped going there. This great woman will be remembered for her loving and caring ways, a smile and compassion. She always made rosebecks and peanut butter for the fishermen. I remember her son, Nicholas, better known as Me or Sume, would come and ask money for stores to go fishing. She would say, I don't have, but later she gave it with love. This great queen will always be loved by her children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, great great grandchildren, great 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 grandchildren. She will be missed by all, including the wider community of Beaufort. May she rest in eternal peace. Ama, Awai, gone but never be forgotten. Thank you. Weep not for her, though she have gone into the gen tonight. Grieve if you will, but not for long. Upon her soul's sweet flight. For she is at peace, and her soul's at rest. There is no need for tears. With, with her love, many was blessed. For all those many years, there were no pain, nor suffer. She played her role on this earth. May her memories live on in many hearts. Please do not dwell upon her death, but celebrate her life. Amen.
sisters and welcome to the celebration of the life of Josephine Sube, also known as Awai. Can we have a bit of silence please because we are about to begin the ceremony. Can we all stand? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in our afflictions, and thus enable us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from Him. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the body of Josephine with the holy water that records her baptism, of which St. Paul's writes, all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus, who are baptized into his death, by baptism into his death, we were buried together with him. So that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of her baptism, Josephine put on Christ, the day of Christ's coming, may she be clothed in glory. Amen. Professional hymn is I'm walking on my way to the Lord.
listen kindly to our prayers, O oh Lord. As our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, may our hope of resurrection for our departed, your departed servant, Josephine, also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We now listen to our first reading from the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verses 17 to 26. My soul is deprived of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. I tell myself my future is lost. All that I hope for from the Lord. The thought of my homeless poverty is wormwood and gall. Remembering it over and over, leaving my soul downcast within me. But I will call this to mind as my reason to have hope. The favors of the Lord are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They are renewed each morning, so great is his faithfulness. My portion is the Lord, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Good is the Lord to one who waits for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good to hope in silence, and it is good to hope in silence for the saving help of the Lord, the word of the Lord. The responsorial hymn is The Lord is my shepherd.
The second reading is from Romans chapter 6, verses 3 to 4 and 8 to 9. Where that we were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death, we were indeed buried with him through baptism into death. So that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more, death no longer have power over him. The word of the Lord. Let's all stand, please. and life says the Lord whoever believes in me will never die And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ.
It is there, and we are going through that pain still now. Gather here this afternoon to celebrate the life of our sister and mother and friend, Josephine. It is important for us to understand that during this time in the Catholic Church, we celebrate what is called the resurrection of Christ our Savior. And through that resurrection, we have been promised by Christ himself that death has no power over us human beings. It is important for us to know exactly why Christ said that. He had made a promise to us <coughs> that he is going to prepare a place for everyone. <coughs> he has made a promise to us that he is going to prepare a place for us. And after he has gone and prepared a place for us, he will come back and take us with him. That where he is, we may be too. So most will argue with him that he does not know where he is going. But Jesus assured us, as we have been stung by death, he assured us that we should not forget ourselves in lamenting so much about the issue of those who have died. He said, do not let your heart be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my father's house, there are many rooms, dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? <coughs> he has made a promise to all of us, and especially our mother Josephine, that during the baptism, she entered into that covenant with God our Father through Christ. In death, she will experience the deeper connection with God our Father. In death, the place that has been prepared for her will be granted to her. In death, she will experience the joy that Christ our Savior has made a promise to us. Do not let your heart be troubled. Of course, as family members this afternoon, our hearts are troubled. And so, he is consoling us and he is assuring us that... Maybe next time you are coming for funeral, you will cook maniku and bring it for me to eat. So that, so that that dry cough will leave me alone. The Lord is good. The promise that God our Father through Christ our Savior has made to all of us is not a promise that has a face of segregating or selecting those who will merit it. An opportunity has been granted to each one of us that we should experience this love and promise that Christ placed before us. Of course, during this time, as we celebrate the resurrection of Christ, he's assuring us, as we have heard in our second reading this afternoon, that we should have faith and trust in God. And in that same faith and trust in God, we should be ready to be able to journey with him in faith, in that same faith, to embrace the kingdom of God. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, chapter 6, verse 3 to 4, and then 8 to 9, he addresses us, brothers and sisters, you are, are you unaware 
that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death is a question. Are you unaware so that you if you are not unaware, if you are not unaware, if you are aware of it, there's no need for you to lament so much about those who have died. And St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians remind us once again that even those those who have died and those of us who are still alive has no added advantage against those who have died. Of course, in every situation, at the end, God our Father, the trumpet will be sound, and all of us will come back to join those who have died and those of us who are still alive. We'll be united once again in the presence of God for the final judgment. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more. Death has no, long, no longer has power over us. Of course, death has no, no, those has, <coughs> death has no power over us because Christ, the Son of God, has gone through death and has created that channel for us to know that in death, God still loves us. And through that death, which Christ, the Son of God, has shown us that it is on the only channel leading to his Father's kingdom. Let us always prepare ourselves as we wait for that time that God has located for us that will come when we finally answer our call. For the life of our mother, there's a song here that whatever she's asking for us is all like... <clears throat> All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. All our mother is asking us now is for us to remember her constantly anytime we need her to pray. Anytime we involve ourselves in a spiritual action, anytime the family comes together, let us remember our mother Josephine and friends that God our Father will raise her soul and console all of us who are still alive through Christ our Lord. stand as we present our prayers to God our Father on behalf of our sister Josephine. God the Almighty Father raise Christ his son from the dead with confidence we ask him to save all his people living and dead for Josephine who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints we pray to the Lord sisters who ate the body of Christ the bread of life that she may be raised up on the last day we pray to the Lord relatives and friends and for all who have pledged us, who have helped us that they may have the reward of their goodness we pray to the Lord
for those who are falling asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. assemble here to worship in faith that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom we pray to the Lord shelter and our strength you listen in love to the cry of your people hear the prayers who offer for our departed brothers and sisters cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord Amen. Amen. we now have collection and we need four members of the family to do the collection please our collection hymn is we remember Sacrifice and use and may be acceptable live. to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. Another book to play for your praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Lord. 
look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant, Josephine, may be taken up into glory with your son, in whose great mysteries, mysteries of love, we all be united through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right. Right and joy, sadity and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, to the Father Almighty and to God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us who this be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. I bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gabriel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Josephine, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son the death like his may also be with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all with prayer. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's commands and Let's formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we well await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Our communion hymn is Come Let's Share.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that your servant, your sweet, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to the dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The signing of the register, please. We now have the sign of the register. So persons who name are there for register to sign the register, please go to the table to your left. At this moment, we'll sing Ave Maria. stand please 
before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our fair way express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroy even death itself. We now sing I'll see the mother dear. to come around have a final blessing please family members go around the coffin immediate family members come around have a final blessing please our response shall be Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Mm. Sons of God, come to her aid, hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ, who called her, take her to himself. May angels lead her to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Josephine in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestow upon Joshua in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. 
Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gate of paradise to your servants and help us to remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and now with you and with our sister forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise, where the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham, and where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you find eternal rest. Whoever believes in me, even though that person dies, shall live. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. In peace, let us take our sister to her place of rest. Our closing hymn is All I Ask of You.
always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I hold you as close as I can But until then, there must be another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of me, and I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question, only God knows why. I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah 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 I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne Thank you to all of the NHS staff and all of the key workers. We really, really do appreciate everything that you're doing for us. So thank you. Lots of love to you and everyone stay safe. It's not my place 
a question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Thank you to all of the NHS staff and all of the key workers. We really, really do appreciate everything that you're doing for us. So thank you. Lots of love to you and everyone stay safe.
you to all of the NHS staff and all of the key workers. We really, really do appreciate everything that you're doing for us. So thank you. Lots of love to you and everyone stay safe. to all of the NHS staff and all of the key workers. We really, really do appreciate everything that you're doing for us. So thank you. Lots of love to you. And everyone stay safe. I'm so numb, I can't 
can't feel anymore Praying you just walk back through that door And tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I There will be another angel around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me and I will hold on tight It's not the place to question, only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight You always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world when heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So i hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again but until then, there must be another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of me, and I will hold on tight. It's not my place to question, only God knows why. I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah 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 I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight. Be another angel around the throne tonight. God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight You always made my troubles feel so small Catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So i hold you as close as I can for the day when I see your face again But until then There must be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question 
it, God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Thank you to all of the NHS staff and all of the key workers. We really, really do appreciate everything that you're doing for us. So thank you. Lots of love to you. And everyone stay safe.
Okay. something.
Yamaz.
Get it passing through? Yeah, let's pass in the country. Yeah, let's
Thank each and everyone who reached out uh, during the time of the event. The family greatly appreciates your support. You have yourself a blessed and a wonderful afternoon. Also, have a blessed weekend. One love to the max.